and be happy always. Once again, welcome to the class of economics in Shachi's Academy, where we discuss various topics with very simple tips and easy keywords. Now, the topic for today is stocks and flows. This is a very important topic and you may receive this question for 3 or 4 marks or in MCQs as well. So take for example, anything that you will be required to answer in MCQs, what is this? Stock or a flow? So this is very important, but it's very easy as well and you will understand within minutes what is a stock and what is a flow. Okay, what is stock? For example, I have a shop in which I sell biscuits. I brought 10 packets of biscuit in the morning to sell in my shop. But during that whole day, I could sell only 7 packets of biscuit, right? Only 7. So, and I am left with 3 packets of biscuit right now. So, right now, at this point, at this moment, this is my stock. So, what is stock? Stock is the quantity of output that is left with producers or sellers or that is quantity of unsold output. This is unsold output left with me. So this is my stock. So what is stock? This is unsold output left with producers or the sellers. Now we can see from these two terms stocks and flows. What is a stock and what is a flow? S-T-O-C-K as stocks and here static. Stock is a static concept that is it is measured at particular point of time. See right now I am having these three packets but this is a static point. I am not considering the whole day. So this is static and this is measured at this particular point of time or this moment of time. I am not considering the whole process. So this is static concept and I, it's a countable concept right. It's countable. Why? I can count the number of packets of biscuit with me. This is static. Then. Flow is a fluctuating or dynamic concept. This is fluctuating. See, it will study the whole process since morning till evening. Or you may say for the whole month also in some of the other cases. It's studying the whole process. How did I sell these biscuits, uh, packets of biscuits? What, uh, to whom did I sell them? How did I bring them? How did I bargain with them? Or what was the process of payment? So this whole process is studied under the flow concept. So... Stocks is a static concept, ST for static and ST for stocks and flows is a fluctuating or dynamic concept. Fluctuating, FL for flows and FL for fluctuating, right? So flow is a continuous process or a process over a period of time. That is process of selling or clearing your stocks, right? So you have understood then. The next point is measured at particular point of time. This stock is measured at particular point right now you can calculate averages from that right that is per year per month etc so that is measured at particular point right now this is my stock i have only three packets of biscuit this is reality and this is my stock then it is measured what is flow flow is measured over period of time on regular basis right regular basis means per month per day, per year, etc. It is measured per regular basis. Or we are measuring the process since morning till evening in our case. That is what was the process of selling these packets of biscuits. This is on regular basis or, or it is measured or over a period of time. Then stock is not time dimensional. It is not time dimensional. It is measured at any point of time. It is not cons dependent on your month, year, day or anything like that. It is measured at any particular point. Right now what I am having at this particular moment. What I am having this is my stock. Right. Then time dimensional. Flow is time dimensional. How? It is measured per hour, per month or per year basis. Like salary we received on per month basis or income we have on per annum basis that is per year basis right and other things also that is number of births per year right or the uh, withdrawals from a bank per year on per year basis deposits on per month basis uh, withdrawals on per month basis these all are measured on regular basis or per month basis these are time dimensional so understood stock is not time dimensional and Flow is time dimensional. Then stocks. Stocks of machines on 31st March. This is example. Okay. If I have a company and if I have, I have 20 machines on 31st March. This is my stock. 
anything any company can have stock of anything that is unsold output at any particular point of time so what is stock it is the quantity measured of anything that's of unsold output at any particular point of time right and what is variable any quantity measured over a period of time this is flow for example stock of machines over the year 2018 so the whole year just like capital formation or the investment for the whole year on capital goods is capital formation so we are considering what the whole year a time period you may take for example one month one day one week one year one decade or 100 years that is your flow concept right then here we can take this example in your bank there is certain amount of money with your bank at any particular point of time suppose at 12 noon okay at 12 noon on 31st march 20 crore is the amount which this bank is having so this is stock right at this point of time only this is its stock now deposits per month that is on regular basis we are measuring deposits on per month basis so this is a flow so deposits in a bank on per month basis is a flow now withdrawals per month that is flow again why because we are considering the withdrawals on per month basis so again this is flow so amount of money in any bank is your stock and amount that is withdrawal on per month basis is a flow and the deposits on per month basis is your flow again so we will take some examples now okay salary what is that salary salary is a flow why because we receive salary on per month basis then income income again is a flow because we receive on per month basis number of birds per year or number of birds that is measured on per month or per year basis so again this is flow right water in a tank water in a tank what is that this is a very classic example of stocks and flows this is stock because at any particular point of time we will measure water in a tank so this is stock at that particular point of time then again we can have some examples speed what is that speed normally we have studied in science that we measure speed on per hour or uh, per minute basis so that is per time so this is on regular interval or we can calculate averages so this is again what it's a flow so that's how we get the idea of stocks and flow and moreover this is one important point to see that stocks depend on flows right greater the flow greater will be your stock if we keep on depositing larger and larger amounts of money per month in your bank account or in your bank then there will be larger stock of that amount so you understood the concept really clearly that what is a stock stock is any amount of unsold output or commodity or anything that is left with producer or a seller that is quantity measured at any particular point of time right at any particular point at any moment right and flow what is flow the quantity of anything or quantity measured over a period of time per month per day per week or per year basis that is known as a flow we have studied flows and uh, we have taken some examples as well i hope you understood this topic and please send the comments if you have any any questions if you have but before that i would like to say that you need to write this answer of differentiation between stocks and flow in tabular form because it will help you to memorize all the topics very easily how see this is static opposite to that this is dynamic when you write the answers tabular form you could adjust the opposites if you remember these points we will automatically remember these points so this is static this is fluctuating or dynamic it is measurement at a particular point, it is measured over a period of time, not at a particular point. You can also write, not at a particular point. Okay, then it is time dimensional. It is not time dimensional, it is time dimensional. We have taken time over here, there is no time, right? Stock of machines on 31st September for whole year. So, you can write the opposites and score good marks as well. So, 
send comments and queries whatever you have and please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for future updates thank you so much